Hi folks, welcome back to another Conan Exiles episode and this is going to be episode 3 of the Beginner's Guide series and in this episode we're going to start looking at taming. Uh, there's basically three types of taming in Conan Exiles. The first is you can tame animals. So the various animals that are around the map uh, you'll find spawn points where there'll be small baby versions of those animals that you can pick up, bring them back to your base and uh, you get an animal pen that you can tame them in. The second type is humans that uh, you have make a wheel of pain which if you've ever seen the actual Conan the Barbarian film is at the start of the film when young Conan gets strapped to the wheel of pain and grows up to be the Arnold Schwarzenegger as we as we know him um, and that breaks the the thrall as they're known in this game and then he becomes yours to command uh, and the last type is horses. It's, uh, horses can be found as foals around certain areas of the map and uh, we build a stable for them, put them in the stable and we can grow up a horse that we can use as a mount. So the, the first and easiest at low level is taming animals because there are there's, there's various animals around in uh, New River here just across from the base there there'll be little baby hyenas just at that hyena spot point over there and you can see just across this way there's three baby shieldback hatchlings just sitting there and there's a whole bunch more down that island and lastly we have a baby crocodiles which are a bit more rare spawn but in the the big lake that we visited in the last episode with the boss croc there uh, you quite often will get spawns of baby crocodiles just around the edge there that you can pick up uh, we'll be aiming for shalebacks because with each version when you grow up you get various variants so with shalebacks you have the female green variant like that one's across there you get the red variant, which is the male one, the more aggressive. Uh, but if you're lucky, uh, there's a small chance that you can get the greater shale back. And the greater shale back is a, is a much bigger version that we haven't actually encountered yet in, in this series. Uh, but he has a, a lot more HP and is a lot stronger. So that's what, the one that we're actually aiming for. But first things first, we need to get an animal pen. So if we go into our feet and go to survival, we scroll down to the bottom and you can see here, this is the apprentice tamer which gives us the animal pen. And that's available at level 13, so a nice low level. Uh, but you need a prerequisite is the thrall taker, which actually gives you the lesser wheel of pain truncheon that we'll use for humans later on. So we'll learn that. And then we can learn the animal pen. You can also see there the stable master. So that's level 15 for the horses, but we're, we're not going to deal with that quite yet. And it says that that is crafted in the carpenter's bench. And that's where we've hit our first issue, because at this moment in time, we don't have a carpenter's bench. So let's go and craft one of them. We not even learn that. We haven't. So let's learn that. Now what's required for that? A fair chance it's got to be some wood. 250 wood, 100 stone. Uh, just like the last time, I spent a little bit of time off camera just gathering some wood, some stone. I also did another iron run. Uh, and got a bunch more iron, so we'll have some iron to, to make some, some further tools if we need. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it does, it's just got a stack of it. It was 250 and 100. Okay, let's get that crafting. Next to the blacksmith bench, it'll just slot in there quite nicely. 
There we go. And now when we look at here, we can see the animal pen. And that needs 300 stone, 400 wood, and 20 twine. Loads of twine. Stick it in here. And then we can put that in. Hit that crafting. So that takes a long time to craft. So while that's crafting, we can go and get ourselves some baby shell bags. Hello? Oh, where did you come from? Okay, the usual sideways. service. Right, so we'll head across the water here. So these are the baby shalebacks. Uh, there was three, yep, there's three there. So like we said before, the green shalebacks, the female shalebacks, they are not aggressive at all until we hit them or until we steal of their babies. And then they'll get very angry, so I'm going to pick one up. Oh, they were, they were far enough away that they didn't see me do that, so I got away with that one. Uh, it's also getting night. And also these things are really heavy, so they're 50 kilos, 50 pounds, whatever the, the weight unit is in the game, but they weigh a lot. So we'll struggle to pick up more than one at a time. So let's take this one back. Of course, it's turn to night time. So I'll come in here, and I'm going to stick it in our box. There we go. So quick, I've got the night cycle set cranked up on this. So it's making videos in the dark has never got to be a good thing. Right, where did the other two go? So they ran away. There's one down there. So let's go and grab that. And again, that was far enough away from its mum that it didn't... I think the other one ran over that way. Put this one back. These taming pens, they can hold five babies at a time. Uh, there is a small taming pen that was a recent addition to the game that only holds one, but because of the low chance of us getting the greater shale back that we're actually looking for, I really want to do all five. Because doing them one at a time will take us a long time. Let's see if we can get any more. There's red ones over here as well, so they're going to aggro, so let's take you out first. <laughs> Come on, right to the red ones at the nest there, it's just going to aggro on us as we get close, which will probably make the babies run away, so let's try and get as far back as possible. Coming. Here it comes. Right. Lock the shield. Stun lock. So it's not even getting a hit on this. Here we go. Right. Let's grab you. And grab you. Oh, we've just got enough weight to hold two. See our encumbrance in the top left is almost at the top of the red. Get across here. Get in the box. How's our pen coming along? It's crafted now, okay. So let's have to get that down and we'll see how ridiculously large it is. Look at the size of this. 
it's huge. So let's oh, try to get. There we go. That'll do. Right, we need one more baby to make the five. None over there. Let's head back across here. Here's one. Like I say, there are so many of them all around New River. Likewise with the hyenas, but the hyenas just, they're not as strong, they don't have as much hit points, they don't do as much damage. So I really like the shale bag. Or the greater shale bag. Right, so let's just grab all five, which will definitely over encumbrous, but joy of this game, even when you're massively over encumbered, you can still walk. Okay, it's slow and it uses more stamina, but you can still do it. Right, let's put them in here and you can see along the top you've got the five slots for pets. In they go. Now we have to feed them. Like it says here, you've got the pet plus food, give it time, will turn into your creature. So if we go to the wiki, this is the wiki page for the shaleback hatchling pet. And if we expand this, you can see all the different foods. So a hatchling plus highland berries, you get these different variants, but we're not interested in any of them. They're just color variants. Plant fiber gives you those variants. What we're looking for is this, greater shale bag. And you can see it's only got 10% chance. So 70% chance of being a green variant A, 10% of being a variant C, 10% of D, but we want greater shale back, 10%. Exotic, cooked exotic shellfish is also 10%, but you need to craft a fish trap, which needs shape wood and bugs in it and cook that up. Uh, savory flesh, that's shellfish, sorry. It does the same, again, 10%. And it's only when you start getting into the shade spice berries that you've got 14% increase. But the shade spice that you need to craft that food is uh, from a high level dungeon or an extremely rare drop on high level mobs. So we just don't have access to that at the moment. So therefore the easiest and best option we have that gives us 10% is desert berries. And desert berries, as it happens, can be found in the desert, just along Noob River. So we just go across here. This bush here is desert berry bush. So you can pick it by hand, but we use some of our iron to craft the, the iron sickle, which is good for plant fiber, and also gives us berries. Oh, we didn't. Oh, yes, we did. We've got 42. You only need one item of food per animal you're taming, so we'll only need five to get them going. So the pets are in the top slot, you drop the food in the bottom slot and that starts them taming away. Now that is going to take time, it takes a lot of time. If you're on an official server, uh, that's going to take six hours to, to tame them. Uh, I've cranked the, the rates up a little bit because this is a, a solo player. The problem with solo player is that when you sh log off and shut down your game, it stops all timers and nothing changes until you log back in again. So you'd have to sit here logged in for six hours in order to tame them, which uh, just isn't really feasible on a single player. On a, on a server, it's not a problem. You can drop your creatures into your pen, you can log off for six hours, log back in six hours later and they'll be done, they'll be ready for you. But we've we've just ranked it up a little bit. Actually not quite as fast as I thought it was going to be. Uh, so I guess we're going to cut it here and we're going to come back once that's complete. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Okay, there we go. And unfortunately in this case, we got five variant A shale backs. So 
So we'll keep one of them and we'll just throw the other four out. I'll just keep that first one in reserve to show you it in a bit. And so to do anything with them, we just place them down like that. And we'll look at it later. Uh, but now I'm going to go off and get another five little shellback hatchlings and I'm going to do the same thing again. Okay, I'll catch you later. Okay, here we go with the second batch and this time we got four green variant shellbacks but we got one greater shellback. So, as it said, 10% chance of getting a greater shale back. We've put in 10 and we got one, so that's exactly 10%. So that's perfect. So we'll throw the rest out. We'll take the big boy over and we'll place him down. So again, stick him in a spare slot. Put him down just like you would place a. And you can see how much bigger he is and his big horn nose. If we look at this guy, he starts off with 264 HP, which is slightly, slightly less than what we've got. So he wouldn't be much of a tank, although we do level him up and he will, he will get stronger. But this guy, so what was this guy? 264. This guy starts with 2350 HP and considerably stronger stats. Okay, he's got two points of strength. He's got eight points of vitality, which gives him his HP. Uh, agility, so he'll have a good chance of getting his armor increased, with a 93% chance of getting his armor increased. And what we can do is, depending on the food that you feed him, you, you can boost these numbers. So every time he levels up, there's a 64% chance he'll increase survival, 40% for accuracy, 46% for vitality, 93% for agility, and 40% for strength. But if we flick back to the wiki again, and look at the Greater Shieldback page, and is it going to tell us on here? Oh, here it is down here. So, these are the different foods he will actually eat. But if you give him exotic shellfish, that'll boost his chance of getting a vitality boost by 7% and survival by 7%. Vines will increase his agility chance by 14%. Desert berries will increase his vitality chance by 14%. Unappetizing shellfish, 14% in accuracy. But since that's for bows and ranged weapons, that's not going to do him much good. Savory shellfish, 40% in survival, which is how much boost he'll get out of uh, various potions and, and food. But basic simple plant fiber gives him a 14% extra boost to strength. And uh, that does his damage boost. So at the moment, what was he had? So he's got all he's got 46 percent his health which is the health and fight in strength is what we really want but he's only got two points in strength and only 40 percent chance by so by feeding him plant fiber that'll go up to 54 percent chance to get a strength boost and it's really cheap and easy so what we do is we need to go and get him some plant fiber and Looking around here, and looks like we've we've blocked all the spawn points for our plant fiber here. So we'll have to take him and level him up a bit, and we'll get some on the way. So by pressing the action key or the E key on the PC, you can bring up this wheel, and one of the options you've got is follow. And he's now following me, so he'll come with me. And. The other options are behaviour. This one is pretty important for any followers because you've got this engagement option. And you can see here you can get them to attack all enemies, which I believe is actually the default. So any enemies that come anywhere near his radius, which you can set here, uh, he will just go off and attack them. 
So that can be a bit of a liability. Guard area is just like stand here and watch for any enemies coming into your area. Guard me means he won't do anything unless anything attacks me or him and then he'll fight back. And then the other option is attack nothing. So by default he'll do absolutely nothing even if someone is banging away on him. He won't do anything until I tell him to do something. We're going to go for the default option that I go with is guard me. So he will follow along. He won't attack anything unless something attacks us or I tell him to go and attack. And one of the big options is so the E key or the action key. If I take the little white dot in the center screen and point it somewhere and press E, you tell him to move. And he'll off he'll go and then depending on his distance he's set from us he'll then come back again. What we can do is if you double tap, if you find a target and double tap E, he'll attack it. And then triple tap E, he'll come back, he'll stop fighting and return. That's fine, but in the heat of a battle sometimes it's quite difficult to get your double, triple and single taps correct. So one thing that I always do is I go into the settings, go to key bindings, and if you scroll down to this command section, you can assign key bindings to different commands. So I've changed the command attack to be my F key and the command stop to be my G key. So now I've got E for move, F for attack, and G for stop fighting. And we'll use that extensively because now we've got a guy who's got 10 times the health of us and much stronger. We're not going to do any fighting anymore. First of all, we're going to get our sickle out and we're just going to harvest him some plant fiber. There we go. And then we go into his inventory and drop that in. And then if we look at his stats now, he now has this extra 14% chance to increase his strength as he levels up. So, let's go find something to attack to level him up. Sure. So I'm putting the dot on this shale back here, and then I press F, and I've ordered the greater shale back to attack. Off he goes. Yep, he's leveled up already. Go and get that guy. He's still got 2,350 health, so he didn't get a level up in health, so... What did you get a level up in? Oh, I don't know. What was it? Was it agility? But... We'll just go around and let's go and do some damage and level him up a little bit. Because every... You can see his... Uh, his XP up here, this yellow bar, so he's half, more than halfway to level 2. So there's some crocs over here. We won't get him to take on the, the croc boss. That's a bit beyond him at this stage. I could just stand with my shield up. Definitely got agility that time because it was four, so his armor will be going up. So you can see his armor level up here. So every time he goes up in agility, his armor level will go up. Not exactly what we want, but hey, it's better than nothing. And if he's following you, oh, you can see, look, two baby other crocodiles sitting right there at that spawn point. Almost like I was telling the truth when I said there was spawn points here. Right, so come on, you go, go fight him. 
that could help. You know, still get the XP. One of the best thing about followers is weight that doesn't affect them at all. You can put thousands of kilos or thousands of pounds worth of items into their inventory and they can carry it no problem at all. So, uh, I'll keep calling them alligators. Of his health bar, he's got a little. He's got a health. health is increasing because he's eating his food to heal, and he also had a a strength buff. Not 100% sure where he got the strength buff from, but. Uh... Oh, here's a demonic shield back. This one with the blue eyes. So they've got a lot of. We would not be taking that on for our own. But we'll stick him in. Yeah, 1,200 is a one skull boss. But as you can see, our shell back is just taken for a while. I think when, when the demonic shell backs would hit us, it would probably take about a good third of our health. Is taken and he's, he's healing at the same time, so he's. We should get some good XP from killing this. There he goes, another level up. Let's see if we get anything interesting. No, we don't. gives us a good idea of what's going on anyway so you can see he's got a, he's got a health that time yeah, he's up to 10 vitality now I think he started with eight so he's now got 2649 at level four uh, the can get all the way up to level 20 and what does happen is when you get to level 10 you get a random perk assigned that will give you some sort of boost to some stat and then you get another one at 15 and then another one at 20. So depending on how lucky you are with what perks you get in each one of those slots you can actually end up having a, a very very strong follower who can help you and also you can carry so particularly I, I like to use these guys when you're going on runs for materials. Is 
these guys, like a normal human, will only have five slots. But these guys have got ten, so they can, and they stack up to a thousand. So you could have ten thousand stone on him, or ten thousand iron, or ten thousand wood, whatever it is you you're looking for at the time. And weight just isn't an issue at all. All the the limitation is the number of slots, not the weight of the items in the slot. There you go. Okay, that'll do for today. That's showing you how to tame a pet, in this case the, the shaleback. Like I say, there are, a pra as far as I know, practically every animal that you find in the game, you can have it as your pet, either by finding the baby variant of it, or in some cases, you have to uh, buy a, an egg from a vendor somewhere on the map for gold coins. Um, well, that's look up the wiki. You can find them on there. But the majority of them are the find the baby, pick them up, put them in the animal pen, give them the the food that gives them the best chance of becoming the greater variant because the greater variants are always the best one. And uh, that's you. But from a, a starter follower. One of these greater shalebacks are fantastic pets, and I can highly recommend them. Okay, that's all for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.